Hey there, Louis Akbalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can schedule a Microsoft Teams chat message to be sent at a later time automatically using a feature that was just added into the Microsoft Teams desktop application. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest content that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now I did publish a tutorial on the same topic earlier this year. Hey there, Louis Akabels here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can schedule a chat message to be sent automatically in Microsoft Teams. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you a different way, an easier way that you can schedule chat messages to be sent at a later time. Now, at the time of recording this tutorial, Microsoft just added into the public preview program a capability to schedule messages to be sent later. And it's a feature of Teams itself. In the other tutorial, I show you how to do this using an interface that Microsoft added into Teams that's essentially Power Automate just in sort of a mini app version. So with this feature, you'll be able to schedule messages to be sent at a later time, literally with the click of a button. Now, if you are curious and you do wanna learn about the other mechanism, you can click that card in the upper right-hand corner to watch that video, or you can just grab the link to that video in the description below. Now, in order to schedule messages to be sent at a later time using this feature, what you want to do is you want to right-click on the send button to the right of the compose box. Now, you'll notice here that doing so brings up this schedule message menu. Now, the first thing that you want to do is select the date on which you want this message to be sent. Now, if you click on this drop down, you can bring up the date picker and select your date. I'll just go ahead and select today. And next, you want to select the time at which this message should be sent. And again, if you click on the drop down, it will bring up a time field that you can select your desired value from. Now, as you can see here, you can only send messages every 30 minutes. It's an interesting decision by Microsoft. You can't actually click into these fields and amend them. I know that when I place my cursor over it, it looks like that you can change this time, but you actually can't do that, at least at the time of recording this tutorial. Maybe Microsoft will update this feature when it is made generally available to allow for the entry of custom times. Now, once you've selected your date and time, you wanna go ahead and click on send at scheduled time. And you can see here that it adds select send to deliver on the specified date and time at the top of the compose box. Now you wanna go ahead and press the send button. And what this is going to do is this is going to send the message in the context of the chat, but you'll see here at the top of the message, it has the indicator as to when this message is going to be sent. Now, if you did want to either change the date or time, or if you wanted to cancel this altogether, what you can do is place your cursor over the message and click on the more options button here and click edit. And if you now click on the date and time at the top of the compose box, it's going to allow you to bring up the schedule message menu, and then you can come in here and either modify the date or the time, or you can cancel this all together. So it's really easy to use in that it's just the click of a button, select the date, select the time, press send, and then you always have the option to come back and either amend the date and time or cancel it all together. Now, the next thing that I wanna point out is that you cannot send scheduled messages to users or recipients who you have not initiated a chat with. So you can see here that I've pulled up a chat window with my colleague Grady, and you can see that I've never chatted with Grady before. Now, if I right click on the send button to bring up the schedule message menu, you can see here this little message that says you'll be able to schedule messages after you send your first message. So it isn't a big deal, but just something to be aware of that you will not be able to see that menu unless you've actually chatted with the recipient before. And last but not least, if you were wondering if this feature also works with group chats, 
It does. So you can see here, I have a chat with two users in it. I've typed my message in the compose box. And again, if I right click on the send button, it is going to bring up that schedule message menu where you can set your desired time, date, and then actually go ahead and schedule that message to be sent at a later time. So that's it. This was just a quick update on a topic that I've covered already earlier this year. Again, if you're interested in learning the alternative, which is scheduling messages to be sent at a later time using an interface to Microsoft Power Automate that was added to Teams called Workflows, you can check out the link in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful though. And if you did, I would kindly ask you to please hit that like button below and also be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the latest content that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.